This time on The American Veteran, Operation Mend. Surgeons in Los Angeles perform reconstructive surgery on returning service members. Hello, I'm Jim Benson. This is The American Veteran, a public affairs program produced by the Department of Veterans Affairs. We begin in Los Angeles with the story of an amazing surgical team that is mending the faces of returning servicemen and women who have been burned or scarred in battle. Octavio Sanchez is headed into the West LA VA Medical Center to have his healing scars examined. His appearance has come a long way since his unit was ambushed in Iraq. When I came out of the vehicle, uh, one of my Marines told me when, when I came out he, that I was engulfed in flames. My body, I was burned 69% uh, of my body. And uh, out of the 69%, 68% were third degree burns to my face, my arms, my torso, and my legs. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Sanchez spent two years at Brook Army Medical Center and had 22 surgeries to repair his burns. But one thing was left undone, reconstructive surgery to repair his ravaged face. If you're missing your nose, it's like a prominent feature in your face, it's right that smack in the middle. I just wanted to find somebody that pretty much was the best at doing, doing that surgery, you know? Hey, hey doctor. Doctor. Good morning. Good morning. Sanchez found that surgeon at VA, Dr. Timothy Miller, a pioneer in total nasal reconstruction. I spoke to him on the phone, and as I recall, it was a, a Thursday or a Friday, and he said he didn't have a nose, and uh, would I be willing to take a look at him? I said, well, of course. I'll see you uh, Wednesday afternoon. We're going to be able to lift the lip up a little bit and might even do the same thing on the other side just to show a little bit more of the upper lip. Dr. Miller works both at the West LA VA Medical Center and UCLA, where he is the chief of plastic surgery. Over the course of his career, he has done over 100 nasal reconstructions. He's assisted by a team of top-notch plastic surgeons and support staff. Dr. Brian Dickinson is one of the group. Dr. Miller is a brilliant individual. He's, uh, he's extremely creative, so he has a really great vision of what the final result is. And the scar on the forehead is maturing nice. I think it's like anything else, you know, the more you do, the better you get. <laughs> Planning Octavio's reconstruction was, was very difficult because it required so many facets or nuances. When you look at the pictures uh, that we had posted up that day in the operating room, those pictures will demonstrate everything, everything we needed to do. Miller's plan was to use the only unscarred skin on Sanchez's face to form a new nose. When there's no nose, usually the forehead is the best donor site. We outlined a design for the skin cover of a nose, and we then put some cartilage and skin grafts underneath to make nostrils. A team of surgeons built a nose on Sanchez's forehead. Once blood supply was established, they moved it into position, giving it definition. He lacked uh, soft tissue as well as projection in his nose. So to create more projection from his nose, we harvested some rib. It's just um, amazing what, what they can do, you know? Over the course of five months and six operations, Miller and his team totally reconstructed Sanchez's nose and corrected scarring on his chin and lip. All of this was at no cost to Sanchez. Because I was in the VA system, um, the VA actually took care of me. You know, we started doing our, our appointments at the VA. All my surgeries have been at the VA. But injured active duty service members not yet covered by VA benefits needed these surgeries as well. To make these surgical skills available and affordable to all young men and women injured in Iraq or Afghanistan, Operation MEND was begun, a joint venture between VA, UCLA, and Brook Army Medical Center. Operation MEND, uh, in, in essence, takes care of everything. Transportation, lodging, surgical costs, everything. 
And our philosophy is that it, we will do as many operations as it takes to make these young men and women look as good as we possibly can. There's no limit. Right. The surgery has made a huge difference in Octavio Sanchez's life. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the outcome of, of everything in it. I can walk down, you know, down the street and I don't have a big hole right in the middle of my face. I blend in a whole lot more and that's just something that that he's given to me, to my family, you know. If you or a loved one has sustained facial scarring during Operation Iraqi Freedom or Operation Enduring Freedom and would like more information about Operation MEND, visit the web at www.operationmend.ucla.edu or contact the VA Greater LA Healthcare System 1-800-273-8255.